I'm Gene Robinson, the director of the Institute for Genomic Biology. Today it's my pleasure to tell you a little bit about the Institute, the IGB, and the remarkable spirit of collaboration that animates all that we do here. The IGB is relatively new. We opened our doors five years ago and we're off to a great start. Our dual mission is to advance life sciences research and to stimulate bioeconomic development in the state, in the region, in the nation, and throughout the world. These, of course, might sound like familiar themes, but the way that we go about meeting our goals is very unique. There are no individual laboratories in the IGB. That is, there are no individual scientists who have their own lab. Rather, all the space is assigned to groups of interdisciplinary scientists working together to address grand challenges. There are eight research themes, two novel industry partnerships. These encompass many faculty from the campus, over 70 faculty from over 30 different departments and eight colleges. To give you a feeling for how the IGB works, I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of the themes, mining microbial genomes. The mining microbial genomes theme addresses a big problem in medicine, and that is many of our antibiotics are losing their effectiveness. It takes a lot of time and a lot of money to develop new antibiotics, but what happens all too often is that the bacteria evolve resistance to them, rendering these drugs ineffective. Mining microbial genomes theme is taking an entirely new approach, an interdisciplinary approach, to address this question. It starts with microbiologists who know their bugs, who know which microbes uh, might be producing very interesting kinds of antibiotics. How do they know? Well, they work with chemists and chemical engineers to identify the signatures that might project to antibiotic activity. Then, after promising leads are developed, they are worked on by chemical engineers and engineers to scale up the process to see if it can be actually a realistic and efficient process. The theme is off to a great start, identifying several possible antibiotics. This theme has already received $15 million in funding from NIH, and there are some promising commercial leads already in the pipeline. Another one of our themes is the Energy Biosciences Institute. This is a partnership with BP, UC Berkeley, and the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. BP has invested $500 million over 10 years in these three institutions, including ourselves. The goal is to produce second-generation biofuels, that is, biofuels that are produced from plants that are not food plants. So the science is really stimulating and very interdisciplinary. It ranges from understanding how to efficiently extract energy from plants, how to genetically engineer certain plant species to be able to produce more energy, some of the aspects of cultivating these plants, and then intensifying these enzymatic activities, improving them using uh, chemical engineering approaches and some of the latest approaches in systems biology and synthetic biology. Another key component of the EBI is the economic component. What are the economics of growing these crops? What are the economics of second generation biofuels? We have individuals that are part of EBI from the College of Business, from the College of Law, that are members of the theme, members of the EBI, who are addressing these important problems, working side by side with our scientists. The highly collaborative approach that characterizes the IGB is proving to be very successful by any metric. High profile publications, grant funding, honors and accolades to our investigators, and financially. The IGB style of collaboration also works well for education. Over 300 undergraduates participate in our research programs, working together with over 500 graduate students and postdocs, getting exposed to this approach and to the cutting edge science that we do here. Recently, the IGB partnered with the School of Integrative Biology to receive a $3.2 million grant from the National Science Foundation to pioneer an innovative approach to graduate training that's based on the research programs here at the IGB. Why is the IGB experiment working so well? Well, one key factor is that we didn't have to invent the spirit of collaboration that goes on at the IGB. This spirit was alive and well, running very deep and very strong on this campus for many years. We were able to build on the spirit of collaboration to create the IGB. As the IGB demonstrates so vividly, 
We know how to do collaboration on this campus. We know how to come together to address big problems. We do it very well. We enjoy it, and it shows. Thank you very much.